Hello students, as we introduced the term atom in the previous video and we found that uh, the important atomic structures which is given by Thomson, Rutherford and uh, the later on the structure was explained by Bohr. But before discussing Bohr model, first of all discuss the concepts uh, which is used by Bohr to explain the model of atom. That means the development leading to the Bohr's model of atom. As historically results observed that the studies of interaction of radiation with matter have provided an immense information regarding the structure of atom and molecules. So, Niels Bohr utilized these results to improve upon the model proposed by Rutherford. The two important development played a major role in the formulation of Bohr's model of an atom. These are that is dual nature of electromagnetic radiation and atomic spectrum. That means these two concepts has played a very important role to, for Bohr from formulating its model that is Bohr model of atom. So before discussing about uh, the Bohr's model we need to discuss these all concept in detail. Dual nature of electromagnetic radiation means two natures that means electromagnetic radiation have wave nature as well as particle nature. That means it can behave like a wave as well as it can behave like a particle. In the wave nature we need to discuss about electromagnetic radiation, its frequency, wavelength and its properties. In the particle nature we need to discuss that is Planck's quantum theory and photoelectric effect. Atomic spectrum in this we need to discuss two type of spectrum that is absorption spectrum and emission spectrum. So before discussing about the Bohr model we will be discussing these points separately in separate videos. So in upcoming videos we will be discussing these points that is Electromagnetic radiation, Planck's quantum theory, photoelectric effect, atomic spectrum in detail. Thank you everyone.